What is up, guys? It's Bob Geyer playing in a friendly modern league with Mono Green Stompy. Uh, this is not a good hand, but I think it is probably keepable. We have a 3-drop and a 2-drop and a Rancor and a Treetop Village. And just between between all of that, I think we're okay. Another Rancor is not exactly what we want, but we'll just play down the Treetop Village and pass. We'll probably start slamming Tuskers next turn. It could be another Death Shadows deck. That's what we played against round 1, and that is obviously the flavor of the month. Uh, Thought Scours himself reveals... Oh, it's a Delver deck. Okay. That's alright too. Delver decks are also pretty good. Unfortunately, Tusker is not what I would call a card that is strong to Lightning Bolt. But if it is blue, no, it's black too. I say if it is blue-red, the Leatherback will be pretty good. Black means he can probably Fatal Push things, which will suck a little bit, but it's alright. More land is not what we wanted. Although, it does become a lot better once you have Treetop Village. Delver of Secrets is definitely not what he wanted in his graveyard. He probably wanted to Play that out turn one, I would assume. Breaks Bloodstain Mire, goes to 18, fetches probably another shock, I would assume. Yep. Untapped. Could be Death Shadow again. It would be weird to play Devil of Secrets and Death Shadow, I think, but uh he has Fatal Push. He didn't need to break his thing for that, but maybe he has something else here. Trying to play something. Oh, maybe he has like uh Tassiger, is my guess. Is it a Tassiger? Grimag Angler, eh, almost the same thing. All right, well, that's not a big deal. Oop, one, two, three, it's a Leatherback Bailoff. He can swing in, but I'll actually swing back harder if he doesn't have a removal spell, but he, he, honestly, he'll probably just have a removal spell. But yeah, what, what are you going to do, right? He has another fetch, so if he has another Fatal Push, he can Fatal Push my Leatherback. Swings in... Okay, he takes me to 15, but he's at 16 already. I can technically swing in for 7. He breaks Scalding Tarn for... Steam Vents. Tapped. I don't know why I did that main phase. Oh, maybe so I can Fatal Push? He does have another Fatal Push. Fair enough. I mean, when you got it, you got it, right? Um, I don't think he's going to have Sweepers, so I'm pretty confident just running these two out. And if he does have more removal, that's all right. I can certainly see him having lightning bolts here. Brings that in tapped. He has two cards left. He's going to do five here. I can swing for nine. I can actually swing for 15 if he doesn't have removal, but presumably he has removal. I hope he main phases it. He keeps doing that, which is kind of good for me because... It's gotta be lightning ball, right? Or or electrolyze maybe. Okay. I will discard a forest. Well, discarding a forest wasn't a big deal. Fire up tree chop village. I will attempt to equip this here. Does he have yet another removal? He does. He has literally Oh he has a murderous cut. No? Oh, Alright. Comes to hand. Oh, it does, that doesn't come to hand then. I lose it. That's fine. He's pretty much out of cards. I guess I'm behind the ball now. Maybe that was wrong. It just seemed unlikely that he had the third fatal push, which admittedly he didn't. So. But I am under the gun now in the sense that. Um, he is winning the race. In fact, he wins it next turn if I don't draw something here. And I don't. So I have to use Treetop Village to chump here, I think. I think that's the only option I have. And if he has a removal for it, then I just lose. He goes to 9. All right. Well, that was a really bad draw. I mean, I drew way too many lands, and uh, he drew a little bit too much spot removal for me. So this is one where I'm going to take, all, if not all, almost all of the aspects out because, um, okay, fire it up, block. Now I have to top deck well. And Pyromancer, short, top deck is 
Well, it can certainly be a lot worse. Strangle root. Equip a Rancor. Can't kill him here. I can block for a turn. If he happens to just draw land, I mean, I still have some very, very slim chance, especially if I draw well next turn. I'm assuming he's going to attack, which is going to make my Strangle root a 3-2, uh, and then I can re-Rancor re it. Probably attacks with both? No, just with one. All right, block here. We got it. Comes back to hand. He passes, interesting. Draw another land. Well, let's draw another land. I play another Rancor. If he has a kill spell here, I just lose, which it looks like he does. He has the Terminate. Fair enough, you win. That's a concede. Well, I got really land. I got really flooded there. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, he didn't even do anything to make me draw lands. I just drew six non lands and eight lands. So that's the way those go. If that happens to you, that'll happen. You'll you'll lose those a lot. Um, I, I, against the delve decks, I still don't think Tormod script is worth it just because it's. Um, not po not mana positive. I think aspect. I think gut shot's better than aspect. Uh, I think troll aesthetic is worth it against all the single target removal. I'm slowing myself down a little bit. Prey pawns aren't great, but they do hit young pyromancer and delver pretty well. So maybe they're fine. What else am I worried about? Needle storm is good against delver, but he doesn't have any other flyers. Um, I like it more against like yeah. Decks that run a few more flyers than that. Uh, I mean, Mist Cutter is fine, but probably just get removed. Rancor seemed fine. Militant would have been really good. Yeah. Prey Upon is the only thing that feels like I could cut it for like another threat. Like I could just go down to Prey Upon up a Tusker. Let's, let's actually do that. I really need to just stick threats. All right, let's run it like this. Get to be on the play this time, which should help a lot. Ugh. Um, hmm. It's pretty good, but we just are very slow unless we top deck a land. I'm going to try it because I don't actually think we have that big a chance against them, especially given the way their deck plays if we go lower than seven, just because they're basically creature removal dot deck. Like that's how, that's how they play the game. Break Scalding Tarn. Steam Vents. Untapped, Lightning Bolt, or Serum Visions, one of the two. Grim Lava Mancer, interesting. Well, that is pretty good against me. And I'm stuck on one mana. Well, let's attack in and see how that goes. He takes. I mean, I guess I should have Rancored first. Not that it really matters. Put on a second experiment, one and pass. Man, this is rough. Uh, I mean, I kept it one land, so I knew the risk. But I, I still don't... I don't think it was wrong just because his deck is, like, one one for one or better removal. Like, that's what it does. And so if you're... Um, if you mulligan, you're just going to screw yourself over, basically. And this is a super good hand if I get three mana eventually. And he's not killing me very fast, but unfortunately I'm not drawing the things I need. So he's just going to Young Pyromancer me out here. Well, that's it's super unfortunate. Uh, I stand by this keep. I mean, maybe I should have mulliganed it, but like I said, I you don't win against this deck with a aggro deck like this if you go below. Like all that would have happened is I would have had two lands, I would have played out two threats, and he still would have just been able to... Um, Grim Lava Mancer them down. All right, well, Strangle Root Geist is pretty good. Does this do two damage? It does. All right, I'll just hold this guy back then. I was like, I could swing in. He'll block with a token, then he'll kill it with that. Doesn't feel good. Tax in with a token. I'll take one. That seems fine. One of the keys here is for me to get off an aspect for a lot of uh, a lot of damage at once. We got up to three. Don't think he has a good way to interact with Troll Ascetic. Oh, does he have Counterspell here, maybe? Nope, no Counterspell. Phew. All right, that's 
It's going to be a pretty good card here for me, I think. I don't think he has a sweeper. He's going to kill my Strangle Root. Oh no! Well, maybe I should have attacked with it anyway. He can do that. If he can get two more cards in his graveyard, he can do that again. Okay, he does have a Serum Visions here. That's pretty good for him. Another land. Tapped. Pass his turn. Um, well, I'm going to play Rancor here. And guess I'll attack in. And then I can choose whether I want to Aspect or just Regenerate. I probably just Regenerate if he doesn't take it. He does take it, though. Wait on the Tusker. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Lightning Bolts to Tusker, that's fine. Still five. And then he's going to kill the Strength of it. That sucks for me. Still feel pretty good here. He's a long ways away from killing me, and I'm doing five damage a turn that he has to use a lot to block if he wants to block it. He's only at three cards. Unless he has a sacrifice effect. He's gonna attack with almost everything. Surprised he's leaving Lava Mancer back, actually, but that's fine. Don't take that much. I take the same amount that I'm doing to him. Land. One, two, three. Leather back Baloth. Swing in. Sure, Snapcaster seems fine. Okay. Aspect of the Hydra. Plus six, plus six. Okay, he lets it go. I do 10 damage to him. And I win. Okay, good game. That was pretty easy. So, we can beat that deck. Uh, we're one and one. Oof. Uh, I like my sideboarding plan. That guy was definitely good. Maybe I wanted the extra prey upon instead of, I don't even know what. The aspect was good there. I think uh, Vines is just better. Rancor feels, Rancor feels pretty important too. Definitely don't want to go down the Militants. I guess I could go down a Prowler, but I don't want to go super threat light either. Man, I didn't think I was winning that after that start. I kept a one-lander. Um, but they are a slow deck. Um, well, it's a one-lander again. This one-lander doesn't look as good to me. One, two, three. I mean, we're out in the draw, and if it gets rolling, it would be okay. I think I'm going to mulligan this one. Yikes. I'm going to keep and hope. This doesn't strike me as... Definitely not where I want to be. Uh, bottom, for sure. Definitely not where I want to be, but the treetop villages are not as bad as they look. And he's only serum visioning turn one, not putting down a Delver of Secrets, which is good for me. Or a Grim Lava Mancer. That guy was pretty mean, too. Uh, depending on what I draw here, I guess. Nope. Wow. Bottom of land, draw land. Oof. When, when it rains, it pours. Probably should have kept the one lander. Probably would have been better than this. Going lower than this seems terrible. I mean, maybe I should have even kept it seven. Like I said, this is a really bad deck to mulligan against. So, there's that. He has one mana up and another land. Are you kidding me? Well, we're going to get to the point where we can activate both two top villages in a turn. Swing on in. No blocks. Goes to 16. Does he flip? He gets a Mana Leak. Well, I can technically play around Mana Leak here, and maybe I will. Doesn't seem, It seems a little silly to run into it when I can just bash with a uh, Treetop. That was a good draw, at least. Um, yeah, let's bash with Treetop. If he wants to kill Treetop, that sucks, but it's not that big a deal. Lightning Bolt, sure. 
takes two, goes to 14. Thanks, Bloodstained Meyer goes to 12. Oh, he also 13, rather. Thought scours himself. Swings for three. How much do I care if he gets value out of his mana leak? Oh my god, I kind of do care just because it's a little crazy how flooded I am. I really can't afford to let him one for one me with a mana leak, but I might just die before then if I don't. Okay, swings in. Well, I'm, I'm pretty okay with him mana leaking a Tusker, I guess. Let's it go. Seems good. Swing on in. Takes it, goes to nine. All right. Beetle pushes that, short. Breaks blue to delta, short. Goes to eight. I'm at 11. He's gonna take me to eight here. He serum visions. I mean, I guess the trick is I can, next turn I can Avatar the Resolute with Mana Leak mana open and then also activate Treetop Village and swing. Avatar the Resolute. Let's it go. Activate Treetop Village. Swing for five. He has three cards in hand, one of which is a Mana Leak. Probably one of which is a Kill Spell, which he's going to use here. Uh, what did he use? He used the Terminate, sure. Perfect. All right. He's going to get to swing for three here. If he has a bolt in hand, I'm in some amount of trouble. Snapcaster on probably bolt or something. Fatal push. Well, that's better. I think he actually wins this one. Wow, it's pretty close though. Uh, because I can't stop this. And I'm only going to be able to do five damage to him next turn. Well, I could still win, I guess. He's only doing three. I'm not going to let him mana leak me because I'm just going to play... One, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Just depends if he has bolt, I think. Okay, attempt to equip Rancor. He has a mana leak and something. He mana leaks it. Um. Well, this is an interesting question. If I let the mana leak go, I can play down a leather back. If I play down a leather back, my chances to win probably actually go up. So if I so if I pay for this, he's a five blocks it. I, I don't have I only have this. So he does that, and I pay three. Well, let's say no. I think my best chance of winning is uh, playing down leather back Bailoff and swinging here. And then using Vines next turn to try for a win. That does assume he doesn't have Bolt, but if he has Bolt, I just lose. So what are you going to do? Okay. Either of my guys are lethal with, with uh, Vines or if unblocked. I'm assuming he has either Coligan's Commander Bolt, but I'm playing to my out here. So, yeah, he gets it. Two life. I'm assuming Coligan's commander bolt. Yep, bolt. GG. Um, it was close. I had him next turn almost definitely, but yeah, not much I can do. 
All right. Well, we're one and one. That was a very close one, even with some, like, I think I mulliganed like every single game. And no, I guess it's not true. I, I kept the second game with one land, <laughs> which is really bad. But I, we're doing better than I expected. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Hey guys, Bobgar here. I just really wanted to quickly say, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you enjoy my content in general and would like to see more of it, subscribe. I'll be coming out with more content in the future. And please leave me comments and let me know what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong, both in terms of production and in terms of my play and my deck building and all that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I will see you guys next time.